So when I was growing up, we were pretty poor, but I had a cousin who had HBO and he was the only person I knew that had HBO. So when I stayed over there a lot, there were certain movies that just kept playing over and over in HBO. A lot of them being Burt Reynolds movies, Cannonball Run, Hooper. Hooper was a movie that I loved. It was about Burt Reynolds being a stuntman on his last movie and he's having to train his replacement. And we all know the real star was Jan Michael Vincent. I mean, come on. Anyway, while I was watching the trailer for this recently, I was playing around in Procreate and I drew a character that it reminded me of somebody you'd see in these movies. So when I created it, I didn't intend on animating it, but I kind of liked the design so much I thought, well, I can put it in dreams and play around with it. So I took the character and went back, added some layers, broke apart some pieces that I'd want to animate, like his arm, his hand, his face. But I ran into some issues dragging those over into Procreate Dreams. Now, normally I would draw strictly in Procreate Dreams. My animations are pretty simple, so I don't really have a functionality issue. But a lot of people tell me they prefer working in Procreate first and then moving those over. So again, I ran into some issues doing that, and mostly it was due to my poor planning because I didn't intend on these ending up in Procreate Dreams. So in this video, I wanna go over some functionality that you may find issues with if you're trying to move uh, layers and whole projects over from Procreate to Procreate Dreams. Hopefully this will alleviate any issues you ran into like I did. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so here I'm in Procreate and this is a drawing that I did. I was playing around in Procreate and I thought, well, I can make an animation out of this. So I didn't give any thought about taking this animation into Procreate Dreams when I drew it. So I went back in, and this was the original drawing, and I'm gonna turn off that layer. And here is what I was gonna take into Procreate Dreams. Now, if you see these lines right here and here, these overlapping lines, that's because I was going to animate the head. So you can see I've got this separated. I've got the hand with the walkie-talkie. I've got the arm or the forearm then the rest of the body, and then you can see the head, and then I have the eyes on separate layers and the toothpick. So that way I can move the pupils, I can blink the eyes, I can shut the eyes, I can nod the head back and forth, and I can move the arm and the hand at the wrist. So that's why you see these overlapping because they're gonna be behind that, and I wanna give it some color so when the hand moves or the head moves, you can't see. Uh, you don't have any gaps in the bags. So once I did that, I started working with moving these files over to Procreate Dreams, and I ran into some issues that I thought I would bring up in case you have similar problems. And I'll probably take this animation and do some other tutorials in the future on it as I work through it. Uh, that was my initial plan for this video. But now that I've ran into these problems, I thought, well, this would be a good time to talk about these problems so other people can learn from them. So to bring up Procreate Dreams, I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna grab Procreate here and bring it over and let it go. So I need to adjust this window a little bit so I can touch up here and I get this white circle here or quarter circle and I can resize this window. So now I have the two of them together. So the first thing I wanna talk about is when I create a new Procreate file, I usually just go to plus and I hit screen size, which you can see my screen size is 27 32 by 2048. Problem with that is when I go to Procreate Dreams and I create a new file, I usually go widescreen 4K and then I click draw. And then it sets up my canvas for me. Now the issue with this is these aren't sized the same. So if I click on Dreams 2, which is the initial name of this file, I can go to properties and you can see my size here, which is 3840 by 2160. So this one is actually smaller than that. So one problem with that is if I drew something in Procreate and then drag it over and this one's 4K, I'm probably gonna get some pixelation or it's gonna look a little blurry. So that's my first tip is if you know you're gonna create something in Procreate and you're gonna move it over to Procreate Dreams, you should make sure the canvas sizes are the same. Now one issue with this is if you look through here, even the 4K setting here does not match this one. So you'd have to create a new one. So to do that, you can just click here for new canvas, and then I can type in this one to that, so 3840, and I can tap on here and type in 2160. And I can tap in here and change the name 
So I'm going to change that to Dreams 4K. Click Create. Now from now on, if I go to create a new canvas, I can choose that down here. So now I know when I transfer something drawn in this one to this one, they'll be the same. So with me here, I want to mention that there are a few ways you can drag stuff into Procreate Dreams. I can drag this whole project in and set it down and it'll import everything. Now you see I've got this original drawing. I can just delete that, drag this over. Now this is one drawing. And if I click on the layers, you can see I have those layers that I originally created in Procreate. Now there's an issue with this when it comes to animation. I wanted some of these things on separate tracks. So I wanted the eyes, the pupils, the toothpick, the head, and the hand and arm. So right now they're not. And there's an issue with this in that I can't drag these anywhere else. So I can't drop them on the timeline. So even if I have a track here, I can't drag onto that. So all these layers are stuck within this track. And if I need separate objects for animation, then that does not gonna work for me. So there's your first problem. If you want separate layers in your Procreate file to be used as separate tracks in Procreate Dreams that you're gonna animate, you can't drag the whole project into the scene. So let me undo this. Now I can drag layers into Procreate Dreams one at a time, but see how I have this eye group and then the pupils and the eyes are within that. If I try to drag this group in, by the way, what I'm doing is holding and you can see it kind of highlight and then I can move it over. If I drag that whole group in, it's not gonna work correctly. You can see that this group has two layers. So in Procreate Dreams, it gave me those two layers, but they're side by side. They're not actually on top of each other like I would need them to be. So you can see how that's changing up there because they're on the same track. So if you have grouped layers in Procreate, you're not gonna be able to drag them into Procreate Dreams and have the same functionality. And one thing you can do is highlight the second one, drag it up, and now they're on top of each other. You can see that looks correct. I can click on this button here, highlight both of those, click and hold, and I can say group. By the way, I'm gonna say click a lot because I work with a mouse on a computer all day long. So what I mean is like press and hold, but I'll say click because I just can't get that out of my brain. So while the group dragging over doesn't work, that is a quick way you can regroup things. One other thing I wanna point out is that, you see I have this body layer here. If I drag it over into the canvas, you see it's no longer where it needs to be in relationship to the eyes, which means if I drag anything else over here, it's not going to be either. So let me undo that with two finger tap. Now if I press and hold and drag that into the timeline, you can see now it's in the correct spot. So just keep that in mind. If you drag something over from Procreate and you drop it in the timeline, it should be in the correct spot rather than dropping it on the canvas. Next thing I wanna point out is in Procreate Dreams, if I tap on one layer and then drag to the right on another layer, I've selected both of those. Now, even though I've got these two selected, I can't pull both of those into Procreate Dreams at the same time. It looks like it's letting me, but once I get over, it only does the one. So you can't select multiple layers and drag those into Procreate Dreams all at once. So one thing I wanna point out is in this one, I drew it in portrait orientation, and this one is in landscape orientation. So if I click on the layers, I click on the body layer and I'll drag it over, and then I'll click on the head layer and bring it over. Now you can see it leaves the stage, it's too big for the stage. And one issue with this is that if I had all the parts over here, the toothpick, the mouth, the arms, the hand, everything would be lined up correctly. But then if I go to resize one of the layers and everything's gonna be off because I can't resize everything at once. There is one way you can do that. With this button clicked, I can grab both of those layers, click group. Then if I unclick this, I can click on the group and I can scale that down. I can also bring it over. The problem with that is if I decide I want to undo the group, if I tap on this and hold and hit ungroup, it goes back to the same size it was before in the same location. So you could move everything over and put them in a group and adjust them that way, but just make sure you never ungroup them. But I personally wouldn't trust myself to do that. So I just wanna say again that it's better if you line everything up 
in Procreate first before bringing it over to Procreate Dreams, you'll have less issues. So the last thing I want to point out is you have some functionality in Procreate that is currently available in Procreate Dreams. Those will move over with you. So if you have like a layer that has opacity or blending modes added to it, when you move those over, they'll retain that functionality. So again, this is just a quick video. I want to show you some issues I ran into when I was unplanned in using Procreate assets within Procreate Dreams. And these issues can be alleviated if you use the same canvas size in Procreate that you may use in Procreate Dreams. I didn't plan on that, but moving forward, I probably will just in case I decide to do that. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.